Welcome to Comic Toy Reviews, and this is a review of the Marvel Legends Psylocke action figure. She was part of the Build-A-Figure Mojo Wave, and uh, this figure uh, looks really cool. And the face sculpt is a vast improvement over Toy Biz earlier versions, and uh, the costume here isn't uh, too detailed in terms of sculpt it's mostly painted on which makes for a great base body mold you see this is all painted on and it does have flat feet but I think a uh, base body mold that this might have been an idea to make a generic action figure body so that you can make other female figures on the same sculpt and uh, for that it would work well back when Toy Biz lost the rights uh, a lot of the last waves of figures were selling cheap in the retail stores. I'm talking like $3 uh, for the action figures. And uh, this was one of those figures that just wasn't selling. It was like 3 bucks or something. I should have bought uh, more just to have some extras to ma maybe make customs. But it was a common figure to find back then. Uh, you can see the purple hair. You can see the sash here. There is a variant of this. It has a black costume and one of her eyes has a tattoo on it. That black costume version called the Crimson Dawn one is a rare Marvel Legend. Only a few were made and it is one of the most expensive action figures from the Marvel Legends that you would find hundreds and hundreds of dollars if someone has that one. This common one, as I said, three bucks in the stores at the end. Face sculpt uh, looks pretty good. The one thing that's missing is it could have came with a purple translucent psychic knife. She's known for having a psychic blade that pops out by her hand area. And it's usually purple. It's like an energy type thing. Uh, that's what uh, very known about the character. And it didn't have that. That, that would have been an obvious Toy Biz accessory to make. But I'm not sure why they didn't make it. But it didn't have it. Some people have made customs online with hot glue. Uh, glue guns and painting it so it is possible to make a, a weapon like that articulation wise uh, the heads okay even though the hair gets in the way a little not too much up and down side to side due to the fact the way it's sculpted you do have room to move around on the head area uh, bicep cuts ball jointed up and down in and out and it has the upper bicep cut there uh, really articulated figure. Look at that. Has the double elbows. Has right above the glove area. Articulation point. Wrist in and out. And same here. Wrist in and out. One thing to notice is both hands are sculpted in an open position. Uh, no articulation there. Uh, just like a spider woman in that regard. But it does work. I mean, it, it's a really handy pose. Upper body, side to side, up and down, lower waist articulation here. This sash is sculpted on and painted, but if you really wanted to, I'm sure you could remove it. Uh, side to side, in and out, has upper ball joints there, has double knees, thigh cut articulation. And the feet, it's nice that it's up and down and you can go side to side. And it is a, a flat foot, which is a little different from the fem other female figures they had. Uh, great thing about this Psylocke figure, it looks like uh, if you're a customizer, it's a great base body mold for a female figure. There's not too much sculpting detail to work with and you could repaint it easy. Uh, the figure on its own looks really good. Uh, I think the sculpt is good. It's good to have another ex-female. And uh, this figure is not too much on the secondary market. You could probably get this figure for a real good price. And uh, it's not one of the expensive ones. So, thanks for watching and talk to you later. Psylocke. The X-Men are calling. Hey. Where's your psychic knife? <laughs>